Today is Wednesday, the 2nd of December. Uh, the heads of state have all left Paris and we are now into negotiations proper and also lots and lots of side events going on at the same time. So I'm going to report on two things. Firstly, the state of play in the negotiations, particularly on loss and damage. And then secondly, about a side event uh, that is promoting a new initiative of the Secretary General Ban Ki-moon called A2R, which is anticipate, absorb, and reshape. And it's a resilience framing. So on loss and damage, we, coming into Paris, have text put forward by the G77 in China, developing countries, which the Annex 1 countries did not want to talk. So there was one option from the developing world, option two that was inserted by Switzerland that said delete everything. So they were coming to Paris not wanting to negotiate. They realized that that is an untenable situation in Paris. They're going to have to negotiate. And so what we have been having over the last uh, 24 hours is very, very informal backdoor discussions, not negotiations, on what we might be able to agree to as compromise text. And President Obama kicked this off yesterday when he met with some of the leaders of the uh, small island states and in particular also announced a $30 million pledge for a climate risk insurance scheme. Now insurance schemes are only for loss and damage. They are not for adaptation. No money is given for adaptation. It's only given for loss and damage. So that's an implicit acceptance by President Obama that losses are happening and insurance is a way to deal with them. And so the negotiators from the United States are now talking to negotiators from AOSIS. The Prime Minister of uh, Tuvalu, Enelis Apuanga, had a discussion with uh, um, Secretary of State John Kerry about this issue. They are trying to find some compromise language. Um, we expect sometime tomorrow or by Friday we will hear what that potential compromise language will be and then it will come out into the open negotiations. And hopefully we will have a resolution. The good sign is that the Annex 1 countries led by the United States are engaging. Uh, up to now they were just refusing to talk. The second item I'm going to talk about is the initiative of the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon uh, on something called A2R, which stands for Anticipate, Absorb and Reshape, which is a resilience framing activity. And we just had a full day called Resilience Day here in uh, COP21, organized by Peru, who are the outgoing chair of uh, COP uh, and who are continuing to cooperate with the Paris uh, French government under what they call the Lima Peru action agenda and this is one of those it's a uh, looking at how we can enhance resilience bringing in the private sector the public sector and from me uh, representing academia the research sector and the vulnerable communities we just had a very good discussion about this and more will be made known after the event of uh, Paris uh, this is something that is simply just being announced here and will be fleshed out over the coming weeks and months.